Warning, the cost of a bad hire is something you can't afford to ignore. Hiring the right job candidate is critical to any business success, and we all know that. And hiring the wrong candidate can have devastating consequences. According to the U.S. Department of Labor, that price tag at today's median income in America is over $21,000 per bad hire. If you're a small business, that is just too much for you to be able to handle. And that's just the beginning. Managers spend, on average, nearly 20% of their work hours fixing errors caused by bad hires. That's one whole day per week just cleaning up the mess. Clean up on aisle five. Not only that, a bad hire can actually poison your workplace culture, and we know that as well. Infecting everyone with their constant excuse making and shoddy work. If you don't deal with that bad hire, you are sending a clear message to your great employees that this might not be the place for them to thrive. In a recent survey, employers said a bad hire lost productivity, compromised quality of work, and plummeted employee morale. These are huge costs that can take down any small business. But a staggering three out of four employers still make major hiring mistakes as they try and quickly fill those vacancies. It's called the availability fallacy. Basically, you have a pulse and you're willing to do the job and I'm desperate to fill it, so I'm gonna hire you even though you might not be the best person for the job. A recent survey of employers said 35% of job candidates didn't have all the skills they needed, but they were hoping they would learn them quickly on the job. 33% said the candidate lied about his or her qualifications. 32% said they wanted to take a chance on a nice person. 30% said they were under pressure to fill the role quickly. And 29% said they had a hard time finding candidates who just wanted to show up. Clearly that adds up to more than 100%, but obviously people have multiple problems hiring bad people. And this matters because 90% of small business owners handle their own hiring and spending the 20 to 30 hours on a new hire that they should be devoting to that process is simply a non-starter. At Red Balloon, we start with values alignment when helping find job seekers. And every week, we attract 15 to 20,000 job seekers to our site who are tired of the woke workplace policies and simply want to build a career with an employer who values them for their accomplishments. Our customers routinely tell us how relieved they are when they finally found a good person who wants to learn and grow and don't engage in all this woke workplace nonsense. Visit redballoon.work and tell us how we can help you because the bottom line is that a bad hire is bad for your bottom line and life's too short to risk your business on crazy. I'm Andrew Krabbichetz, the CEO and founder of redballoon.work. Have a humdinger of a day.